As the world hurtles towards an electric vehicle revolution, one burning question dominates the automotive landscape. Who will emerge as the industry's frontrunner? The increasing competition in the EV industry unveils a riveting duel between major contenders, BYD and Tesla. Founded in February 1995, BYD is a company that uses advanced technology to make life better. For more than 27 years, BYD has grown really fast and now has more than 30 places where they do their work all around the world. They are a big part of different industries like electronics, cars, clean energy, and trains. BYD focuses on getting, storing, and using energy in a clean way, without creating pollution. They have solutions that don't produce any harmful emissions. BYD is a company that is listed on stock exchanges in Hong Kong and Shenzhen, and they make a lot of money, more than RMB 200 billion. One of the cool things BYD has done is create the Blade Battery and a special kind of hybrid power technology for cars. This helps in the shift from using gas for cars to using electricity, which is better for the environment. BYD cares about the environment and they are doing things to help reduce the number of harmful gases in the air. They want to make the earth cooler by one degree Celsius. They have already saved a huge amount of carbon emissions equal to planting nearly 900 million trees. During the tough times of COVID-19 in 2020, BYD quickly decided to make face masks to help where there were not enough. They sent these masks to more than 80 countries. In just a short time, BYD made the world's biggest mask factory, producing up to 100 million masks every day. BYD is not just a tech company, they are a company that cares about people and the planet. They use their skills to create technology that helps, whether it's making clean energy solutions or producing masks during a global crisis. They have come a long way since they started in 1995, and they continue to make a positive impact on the world. Whereas Tesla, on the other hand, is working to make the world use more sustainable energy. They want to use solar power, batteries, and electric cars to create a cleaner and greener world. They're proud of the positive effects their products, people, and supply chain have on the environment. Their goal is to design systems that are good for the environment and can be used on a large scale. The energy products they make, like solar panels and batteries, work together with their electric cars to have a big impact on reducing pollution. Tesla cars are not only safe, but also designed for maximum fun. They add features like games, movies, and hidden surprises to make driving enjoyable. Plus, with software updates, they can add new features to the cars easily. To make a big change, Tesla believes in doing things on a large scale. They have six big factories across the world where they design, build, sell, and service their products. With over 100,000 employees, they work together to make a difference. Tesla uses a smart approach to solve big problems. They think from the basics to find innovative solutions. Their headquarters are in Texas, but they have a global impact, operating on three continents. Tesla is committed to moving away from fossil fuels and making the world a better place. Tesla and BYD are two of the biggest companies in the electric vehicle, art EV, industry. They are now direct rivals, not only in China, but globally as well. In the last quarter of 2023, Tesla faced a significant drop in earnings and cautioned about slower growth in deliveries for 2024. The company doesn't foresee many positive developments until 2026. On the other hand, BYD reported weaker-than-expected earnings for the same period, possibly due to price reductions. BYD with its eye on international expansion, recently entered the Indonesian market and plans to establish a manufacturing plant there. There are also considerations for a factory in Mexico, which could open doors to the U.S. market. In contrast, Tesla has been slow in advancing its plans for a Mexico facility. Although Tesla had a successful 2023, its stock peaked in July. At the beginning of 2024, Tesla's stock faced a decline exacerbated by price cuts in China and Europe, along with other negative news. The company is encountering challenges in growing its market share while maintaining profit margins similar to traditional automakers. However, the stock is still valued differently from traditional automakers. BYD's stock has experienced a sharp decline recently due to concerns about a price war. 
The start of the year is typically slow for EV sales in China, where intense competition prevails among BYD, Tesla, and other players. In response, BYD initiated a new round of price cuts for its EVs on February 19th. Globally, signs of slowing demand for EVs are affecting the entire industry. Both Tesla and BYD stocks have rebounded from recent lows but still have a long road to recovery. Comparing the two companies, Tesla delivered 484,507 EVs in Q4, surpassing analyst expectations. Full-year deliveries reached 1.81 million, slightly exceeding the company's target, mainly driven by strong sales in China. On the other hand, BYD reported record December sales of 341,043 EVs, including plug-in hybrids, and achieved full-year sales of 3,012,906, surpassing its target of 3 million. In Q4, BYD outpaced Tesla in all electric BV sales for the first time. Despite a 33% increase in January sales compared to the previous year, both companies experienced a drop from December. Overseas sales were a bright spot for BYD, reaching a new high. The premium Fang Chengbao Bao 5 off-road vehicle and super premium Yangwang U8 performed well. BYD, being China's largest automaker and the world's 10th largest in the first half of 2023, demonstrates its global influence in the EV market. Tesla has been adjusting its car prices globally since January 2023, offering discounts, cutting prices, and introducing various incentives. In January 2024, Tesla reduced the prices of its Model 3 and Model Y in China, and later adjusted Model Y prices in several European countries due to declining sales and reduced subsidies. However, on February 12, Tesla increased Model Y prices in some European markets, though they remained mostly below the pre-January cuts. In the United States, Tesla raised the price of the refreshed Model 3 Long Range by $1,000 in early February, citing limited production in the short term. On February 10th, Tesla reduced prices on its first two Model Y variants by $1,000 through February, but newly arrived inventory still carries more significant discounts. Regarding subsidies, the first two Model 3 variants in the U.S. lost 7,500 IRA credits from January 1st due to stricter battery sourcing rules. Germany and France ended EV subsidies in December 2023, affecting the China-made Model 3, but not the Berlin-made Model Y. California has limited its EV subsidy to the middle class and poor. On the positive side, Americans purchasing Tesla vehicles eligible for IRA credits in 2024 can now avail the credit at the point of sale instead of waiting for a tax return. In terms of vehicle pricing, consumers in the US and Europe often find the Model Y priced lower than the Model 3. Tesla introduced an upgraded Model 3 in China on September 1st, featuring a higher price, 9% longer range, and various refinements. Deliveries in China and Europe began in late October, and the updated Model 3 is now available in the U.S. market, initially offering only RWD and LR variants. The long-term success of these modest changes remains uncertain, as weekly registrations in China haven't shown robust Model 3 sales. Contrary to expectations, reports suggest that the Model Y won't undergo a Project Juniper refresh in 2024. Tesla started delivering its Cybertruck in November, with two variants priced at $79,999,990. Early owners raised concerns about the Cybertruck's battery range falling short of advertised claims and reported issues with rust, corrosion, and blemishes on the stainless steel exterior. A base model Cybertruck, priced at 60900 with a claimed 250-mile range, is expected in 2025. Elon Musk acknowledged on a Q3 earnings call that the Cybertruck's challenging design posed financial challenges for Tesla and might not yield positive returns in the first year. While Tesla handed over a few dozen semi-trucks to PepsiCo in late 2022, official deliveries, prices, and specifications for the semi are still undisclosed. Tesla's focus on the Cybertruck as its first new passenger vehicle since the Model Y launch in 2020 may limit new vehicle options for most markets in the coming years. 
Tesla and BYD take different approaches when it comes to producing batteries. Traditionally, Tesla hasn't been a big battery producer itself. Instead, it relies on partners like Panasonic and LG to manufacture lithium-ion batteries for its vehicles. Tesla packages these cells and uses them in its cars. Additionally, the company has purchased lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries, from China's cattle. However, Tesla is now working on its own 4,680 batteries, which were introduced during the 2020 Battery Day. These batteries use standard lithium-ion chemistry but come in a larger form factor, offering potential benefits and cost savings. Despite recent increases in production, mass production and cost savings for the 4,680 batteries still face technical challenges, and it's unclear if the anticipated benefits will materialize. The limited production of these batteries could impact the output of vehicles like the Cybertruck. In contrast, BYD is a major player in the EV battery market. Its blade batteries, based on lithium iron phosphate, are widely used. BYD is expanding its battery production capacity to supply not only its own EVs, but also other manufacturers and storage projects. There are rumors that BYD will unveil an updated blade battery in 2024, along with an upgraded hybrid system. Both Tesla and BYD are expanding into battery storage for homes, businesses, and utility-scale projects. While Tesla sources its batteries from Cadell, BYD collaborates with LG for storage solutions in North America and Europe. Looking at their recent earnings, Tesla experienced a 40% drop in earnings per share and a modest 3.5% revenue growth. Ongoing price cuts have boosted vehicle demand, but have impacted profit margins. Tesla's gross margin fell to 17.6%, and although operating margins improved, the CFO noted that cost reductions have largely been exhausted. On the other hand, BYD reported robust earnings, with preliminary 2023 net income expected to be significantly higher than in 2022. However, the Q4 figures suggest a hit to margins due to substantial discounting. Analysts have been revising Tesla's estimates, projecting a 1% decrease in earnings per share for 2024 compared to 2023. BYD, while facing some headwinds in Q4, is expected to release full financial figures later. So, the journeys of BYD and Tesla highlight the remarkable growth and innovation within the electric vehicle industry. As pioneers in this field, both companies have contributed significantly to shaping its evolution. Looking ahead, the competitive landscape of electric vehicles promises continued growth and change. With their respective strengths and capabilities, BYD and Tesla are poised to capitalize on emerging opportunities and remain key players in driving the future of sustainable transportation. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest developments in the EV industry.